Hi folks, so I wanted to speak today about how to transition from your language brain to your fighting brain, okay? Because basically, when you are talking, now that I'm talking and I'm talking to you and you're listening to me, you are using your language brain, which is, you know, situated in the front, you know, the neocortex prefrontal lobe, basically, which is what your conscious thinking, cognitive brain, okay? what you use every day when you write, when you speak, when you talk, when you listen, okay, when you communicate. Now, when you fight, you are using your fighting brain, okay, which is more like the limbic system, okay, the limbic system which runs around your spine and you have the reptilian brain wrapped around, wrapped around it with the mammalian brain and then obviously the front, the hypothalamus and the front, which is the, the, the neocortex prefrontal lobe, okay. So today I had a student and uh, we went through the basics of the game plan, okay? And uh, when at first we were working on tool development, so he was uh, palming and uh, so I told him, you know, I showed him how to palm and attach, palm and attach. So that's what we were doing. And he was doing uh, really good, you know, because uh, he's a gym goer, he's a strong guy, so uh, he, he had a powerful shot and he was great, you know? He was accessing his fighting brain really easily, okay? So I was coming there with a pad and uh, I had like a little piece of uh, cloth around my, my wrist to mimic the, the clothing because I wanted him to learn to swipe and attach, swipe and attach. So as I was coming with a pad and I was talking to him and I said to him, you know, like, uh, forget about my face. This is the pad. This is my face. This is my throat. This is my clothes. So when you apply, you when you put your fence up, you touch this and I'm going to press against your fence. You're going to tell me to stay back and I'm going to come back. And when I come back, that's when you're going to strike. OK. And he was doing it great. Everything was fine. OK. He's a strong lad. Everything was cool. He could access his fighting brain really, really quickly. OK. But now, as soon as we implemented uh, dialogue, verbal communication okay me i'm good at it because i'm i, I train it okay for now i'm talking to you <coughs> all of a sudden i can switch i can transition from my from my language brain to my fighting brain in a fraction of a second because I'm trained to do so. But not everybody is trained to do that, you see. This is how people tell me, oh, you're explosive. I'm explosive because I can transition from my language brain to my fighting brain in a fraction of a second, okay? So when you take decision, you know, split decision, obviously, it's like when you see something. So you see something and you absorb the situation through your eyes and then the, absorb the, the, the information goes and it is absorbed through your eyes and through your eyes go to your brain and then from your brain it goes and the information goes to your limb to your limbic system so that you start doing things okay so as soon as we were implementing the um, the verbal communication he was losing accuracy now all of a sudden he was kind of uh, missing a little bit I mean, he was still touching the pad obviously but he was he was uh, as less accurate than he was and i said to myself why why is he not accurate? I mean, like, before before we started to implement verbal communication, which is a big aspect of combatives as well, because in the street, people will approach you, people will interview you, people will start talking to you and being deceptive so that they can attack you, okay? So, uh, and I said to myself, why, why? And then I understood, I said to myself, right, okay, he's got difficulties to transition from his uh, from his language brain to his fighting brain and then I said to myself right that's interesting that so I explained that to him I said that to him right okay you got you got the you got the language brain which is the part of your brain that you use to listen to me and to speak to me and to communicate okay and then your fighting brain which is your limbic system which you use to robot to do all that stuff okay and for some people it's different it's difficult to transition from that part of your brain to that part of your brain that runs along the spine so all of a sudden before he was giving me some clean shot and i could really feel it you know because he's a gym goer he's like really strong i could feel uh, the, the the thing going I could I could feel the power yeah and as soon as we implemented verbal communication he was missing he was no longer hitting the scent the center of the pad because obviously if you want to induce a knockout you have to strike the line of the spine okay if you strike uh, outside of the line of the spine and you strike here the head is going to turn and you're going to slip that way you strike that way you know it's going to slip that way same when you punch a punching bag when you punch it center yeah you're punching it on the the center line which is which replicates the the line of the spine okay as soon as you punch a punch bag and you don't punch the center line and you start punching it a bit on the side what's happening it spins okay well this is the same thing with a human being if you want to develop proper impact 
you have to aim for the line of the spine so you have to be a spine chaser okay a spine hunter and this is what you want to do now it was quite interesting to see how some people, for some people, it's hard to transition from their language brain to their fighting brain. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, as, as an instructor, you know, I learn from my student as well. Because I will always regard myself as a student first because we are all students forever, you know, like you, we're always going to learn. And if you are a good instructor, you will always learn from your students. So today I've learned from my students something. And then I explained things to him. I explained that, you know, that was the situation was and he understood it and he worked on it and eventually we fixed that little problem and uh, everything was fine and it took us less than an hour so I said job done good job you know and uh, yeah that's about it you know so uh, that's all I wanted to say peace take care